I'm feeling happy, you know. Um, it's very difficult to uh, continue fight in this sport in the same level when you don't train hard. I train hard for uh, continue the same level. And tonight I try to do my best for all my fans and for myself, you know, because I love this sport. Yeah. It was fun to watch. I mean, the, the, the technical expertise of both of you in there and what you were doing was amazing. Can you talk about, you know, Israel's skills and, and maybe what surprised you or how you felt he performed tonight? Well, Israel is very fast. He's young. He have a the great future inside the UFC. Uh, I talked to Israel about something, so uh, please keep straight your focus. Don't lose your focus because you have amazing talent. Just keep doing it. And th this has happened, you know. Uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed um, because it's a two generation inside the cage. And great show for everyone, you know, I, I'm, I'm so happy. And lastly, I think people were impressed with your skills as well, that you were so even with a younger guy. Um, you said you want to fight in Curitiba. What kind of fight makes sense to you? Are, are there names, you know, things that you want to accomplish or a name that you want to fight? What would make sense for you in Curitiba? Well, um, now I, because the, the, the last time when I try to fight in Curitiba, I have uh, 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 problems and I take the series very fast and I come out the card. And now I have a chance for fight in my city, you know, when it, everything starts. And uh, I talked to uh, Ed and talked to my team and um, maybe I think it makes sense fight me and, and Nick Diaz in Curitiba, you know. Let's go see. I, I just waiting for Dana, you know, because it's not uh, time to make the good decisions or not. And I hopefully I go fight with Gruchima. Uh, Anderson is ready. Um, you didn't get the win tonight, but you put on a pretty masterful performance. As you can tell, the crowd was was going pretty crazy for that. Were you happy with your performance tonight? Oh. Yeah, I'm happy. Of course, I'm, I'm very, um, I'm, I'm working very hard for win. But I'm, I'm happy to my performance. You know, I talked to my team about that, and uh, everybody talked to me, say, "Don't worry, it's good. You know, let's go back to home and start training again and continue your legacy." You know. And the whole crowd was um, chanting your name in there. What does it mean to, to know that you have fans on this side of the world that, that really support you? Wow, I'm, I'm very happy, you know. Uh, I'm very, very happy, I'm very lucky because I'm working my entire life for this sport. And uh, when I see the people, uh, wow, well, I'm very lucky. Thanks. Uh, just over here, Anderson, up the back. I'm just wondering, you mentioned Nick Diaz's name. What what interests you about doing that rematch? Well, because I think the, it's a very interesting fight because the last fight uh, with me and Nick is no contest. And uh, I talked to Nick, uh, I talked to manager Nick for a uh, couple months ago and uh, uh, about this fight, and uh, Nick say, okay, let's go do it. Let's go talk to Dana and let's go do it, you know. Let's go see, I don't know, I, I just waiting for Dana as to, you know, as to, uh, ready for talking about that, but uh, hopefully a fight in Pritiba. Mm. Uh, after the fight, he said some stuff to Israel. I'm wondering, what did you say to him? Because you're a big... Uh, you're a big hero of his, and he bowed down to you and showed your respect after the fight. What did you say to him in the octagon? Well, I would say thank you. Thank you for uh, giving me more energy and inspiring me to continue my, my sport and doing something special for everybody in, inside the cage. And just final question for me. Um, Chael Sonnen had a bit of a joke. Uh, he tweeted out that 
you know, I want to fight Anderson Silva and Israel can move up and fight uh, Kelvin Gaston. I just want to get your reaction. Did you see that? And what did you think? I don't see. I don't see. But uh, I respect Cheo, you know. Uh, Cheo gave me uh, the great opportunity for doing uh, the great fight in the story of the sport, you know. And uh, everybody talking about Cheo, but Cheo is very smart and a good fighter too. Uh, Anderson, you, you've spoken in the past about how you sort of like the, the, the big fights and you've expressed interest in this in the past. Conor McGregor tweeted out after the fight. Did you have a chance to see what he said by any chance? No, no, I don't. I don't he, he gave you a lot of compliments basically calling you a pioneer and he said that it would be an honor. Um, I think he's insinuating he would like to fight you. What do you think about that? Well, I, I first of all, I respect the champ, you know, and the second one, I think <coughs> at this point, and my career and uh, Conor Korea is a very interesting doing something special for the fans. I think the super fight, uh, uh, me and Conor, is a very interesting, you know, and uh, let's go see that the future is inside you see is very interesting because everything's changed fast. But, you know, I'm ready to back to fight very soon. I was going to say, Conor seems to really want to fight in Brazil, and you want to fight in Curitiba. If the UFC wanted to do that fight next, do you think that would make sense to you? Or would you would you rather Conor over Nick Diaz if it was possible? Well, both is the great fighters. Is the both is the very interesting fight for for uh, the fans. Uh, I, hopefully, I go talk to Dana. Hopefully, Dana uh, doing this, you know, because that's. Uh, very important for me fight in my city, you know, when I start uh, martial arts and doing something special in Curitiba for my fans, you know. Anderson? Okay, I see. You. Hey, before the fight, it seemed like you didn't really want to make any comparison for Israel. Now you've fought him. Would you like to say what similarities you do see in him, in yourself? No, it's the completely different game. Israel is the is, is have a different game, and uh, wow, I'm I'm very impressed because uh, Israel give me good challenge inside the cage. You know, for a long time I don't feel in, uh, the same challenge in my life, uh, but you know I'm. I'm very impressed. I'm respect as well. He's a young guy. Have a great future inside the sport, and um, hopefully, come to fight for the belt and win. Uh, Anderson over here. Um, can you just tell us about how it was communicated to you that you would be fighting in the main event? Was it just something that they said to you and you agreed to, or was there any suggestion that you might do a five-round fight? Can you just tell us how that? Uh, Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, when I stay in my uh, in my bat in my room, uh, I saw in the in a in the internet. I said, "What?" And uh, the first moment, I just call Ed and say, "What? What happened to we Whitaker? Because this has happened to me." And I'm I'm sad in the first moment, and I say, "Okay, it's my job, but." You know, hopefully Whitaker we, we stay uh, okay because I know this is not, it's not, it's not good. You know, <coughs> because especially when you're training uh, for four, six months for a fight for the belt and for protect your belt, and this is happy. You know, hopefully Whitaker come better and better. And did they offer you a five round fight, or was that not discussed? No, no, never. Uh, it is uh, for me? No, but he, and the people never talk to me. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, hey, Anderson. Um, Hi. Given that some fans thought you were going to retire if you possibly lost the fight tonight, um, and given how retire? you retired, yeah, of course not. Of course <laughs> um, not. But yeah, given that how you performed tonight, what were your thoughts about that? Well, I'm, I'm, I don't see the fight, but when I see the fight, I go talk to you about that. But I think 
it's not it's not too bad, you know. Especially for one man, 43, for a young guy, you know. I think I I'm not fight too bad. And I really do have to ask: Did you ever go swim with sharks while you were here? Yet? Yes, of course. I go swim for the sharks, but inside the cage. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys, thank you so much, thank you for coming, bye. Sorry, I use the glasses, I take the glasses to my coach because, you know. Bye guys.